What's up, man? You already know who it is. It's the one and only Kevin, a.k.a. Mr. Every Week. Because I'm here every week with the Good Life Reviews. And y'all already know the vibes, man. We on Sisters again, season 7, episode 5. We gonna jump straight into it. I ain't even finna hold y'all. Okay, so Jordan um, and Andy, they went on a date. But look, this was about to throw me off a little bit because I really feel there's some fly shit going on with Jordan. That's just my opinion. I'm gonna tell y'all why. Because y'all know he's in the little politician world. You know, when you start doing stuff with politics and running for certain things, they start pulling up every single detail, every scandal and everything. You feel what I'm saying? So one of the dudes that was on the uh, in the campaign, they found out that he was doing some little molestation shit. That's fucked up. So now we looking at Jordan like, bro, like what you got going on, basically. You feel what I'm saying? So we gonna see what Jordan got going on. I, I, I hope you don't got nothing going on because it seemed like Andy a little happy right now, but we gonna see. Penelope, Penelope, you really starting to piss me off, bro. Pardon my language, but when I saw Penelope went in Gary's office when Gary went there, I swear the first thing I say, I say, bro, she about to get caught. She about to get caught because she just be, she be so slow with it. You feel what I'm saying? She be so slow with it. Like, I'm like, bro, get in and get out. Whatever you're going to do, get in and get out. So he already know you've been looking through his stuff and, you know, I don't even know. Gary, you, man, we going to come back to him. We, 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 we going to come back to him. You feel what I'm saying? So anyway, you know, it started off with Zach asking for the DNA test from Karen because last episode, it ended with Zach coming in and asking for that DNA test. And it's pissing me off because it's like, Karen, if you so sure the baby is, just get the DNA test. You got one to see if it was Aaron's own. Give Zach the same respect. He he just want to see if it's his. He want to make sure. Like, everybody want to make sure. You know, at first, Zach was like, it is his. It's one Aaron's. But you still don't know because I really, really and truly feel that Karen is lying about the baby is Aaron's own. I still feel it might be Aaron's. Then again, we don't know. It might be somebody else Karen's messing with we don't even know about. But we ain't calling, you know, out your name or nothing, Karen, but we got to see. If this man want the test, give this man the test. You feel me? Give him the test. That's all he wants. Just give him the test. Then the delivery dude, he don't pop up in there. I don't know what's wrong with the delivery guy. He talking about, you all right, bro. Go ahead. You think you know Karen. You don't even know Karen like that. You just delivering a little bit of boxes and blah, blah, blah. You don't know how Karen be acting. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how Karen be acting. And you don't know how Zach be acting. Zach be snapping sometimes. You feel what I'm saying? So you can't just be jumping in people's business when they ain't got nothing to do with you. That is a perfect lesson for real life, people. Don't be jumping in shit that don't got nothing to do with you. That's how shit happens in life. If you don't got nothing to do with you, stay back. You know what I'm saying? Stay back. Just stay back. Because you don't know. You don't know who with who. You don't know what who got what. You feel what I'm saying? Danny. Danny come up in there drunk. I can't wait to can't really find out that Danny was one of the ones who convinced motherfuckers that to get the DNA test and basically was trying to call Karen the hoe on the low. You feel what I'm saying? But we're going to see. We're going to see what's going on with that. But Gary, man, Gary, you need a life. Like, you sniffing these drugs. You doing all kind of crazy shit. And it's, it's not working. It's not working, bro. You fucked up. You fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like I always say in life. People, get, people do a lot of negative shit in life and think that just because they getting away with it, they ain't never going to get caught. I'm going to tell you one thing and one thing only. God gonna keep letting you fuck up. Pardon my language, Lord. He gonna keep letting you mess up to see if you change. Because he wanna give you a chance. But if you don't never change, he gonna spank that ass. You feel what I'm saying? But look, hey, shout out to Fatima though. Once again, shout out for shout out to Fatima. You feel what I'm saying? Cause she getting the um, she doing shit for Michael, you know what I'm saying? Cause Michael really gonna need therapy. So shout out to Fatima. Fatima is a real one, dog. Real talk. So y'all already know the vibes, man. But look. Y'all already know Hayden, little sneaky ass. He always just popping up like a genie and shit. He's so damn... I don't even know what to say about Hayden. But, man, that was the quick recap of Sister Season 7, Episode 5. Y'all already know who it is. It's the one and only Keevan, a.k.a. Mr. Every Week. Because I'm here every week with the Good Life Reviews. And like I said, baby, think positive thoughts so you can create a positive reality. Let us work out. Let's build generational health. You feel what I'm saying? Let's live this thing called life. Pray every day. Stay out the way. Stay positive. And I promise you, baby, you will be happy and at peace at all times while we are here. You feel what I'm saying? Let's get it. Because I'm here every week. You feel what I'm saying? Let's get it, man. Good life forever.